up, everyone? This is Alex. Uh, so I've been getting a ton of questions on how I built this site, uh, useflux.ai, in uh, 10 days. Um, I guess all in 10 days, but really six days of actual work. Um, and it's a uh, you know, full working app. Um, basically, what it does is let you use this new image model called Flux. Um, you can train, fine-tune these LoRa's to generate uh, images like this. So you upload a couple sample images, um, takes about 20 minutes to train a model, and then you can generate all sorts of portraits, headshots. Um, it's really great for product photography. Uh, like I'll zoom in here and you can just see um, like this is this is awesome, like very usable photos. Um, and then also works for styles and illustrations. And then you can do fun photos, sort of like this. Um, and yeah, I was able to build this full app. Uh, you know, you can log in. Uh, I'll just do it right now. Um, you can train these models and then you can generate images. And um, the way that I was able to do it was using cursor. And so lots of you have been asking about my workflow. I'm going to go through how I do like a new feature in We'll do it in less than five minutes uh, using Cursor. And so Cursor is like this new AI code editor. Basically, if you've ever used VS Code, you know, any IDE where you code, um, Cursor just makes it really easy to use uh, GPT, Claude, all sorts of LMs in those workflows. Um, and so, yeah, let's just get into it. So here is my local host. Um, I have the project running. It's a, uh, all right, let me get out of here. It is a, um, a Next.js Superbase uh, app. I have a host on Vercel. Um, and if I was starting from scratch, uh, basically what I would do is first define my Tailwind styles. Um, because you're going to reference that in pretty much like all of the new features that you're creating. Um, and then the other thing is, uh, I would probably start with some Next.js Superbase boilerplate and uh, make sure you have that Superbase folder there. And then, um, yeah, the new feature that I want to launch today is actually a um, a way to influx right now. Um, you know, the way it works is I train a model, I come in here. Um, once it's trained, I can actually like use some of these props and generate uh, an image. And so um, we'll just generate this image. Once it's generated, what I've gotten is like a lot of users like, where's the download button? Um, so we're going to add a download button and we're also going to add a modal. So when I click the... Uh, image, it kind of like pops up and is a little bit larger size. Um, and so let me just add a, um, we'll wait for this to finish loading. Um, while we wait, so, or, oh, there we go. Okay, great. Yeah, so you can see sort of like these are the images that get generated. Um, so what I want is a download button and then to click this and then something needs to happen. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do here is um, click Command I. So Command I is basically Cursor's Composer, uh, which lets you uh, do multi-file editing. So Cursor has a few features that I use like all the time. One is um, basically inline, like let's say, let's just go to like my hero, uh, component. And then say that I wanted to change this um, to say something else. I just do command K and I say like, make this description better. And it will, you know, write in line, basically give me some code uh, or some, uh, you know, LLM generated uh, improvements. I can accept or reject. So I use that for like small edits. Um, also, or the next thing is um, command L, which basically will open up this uh, sidebar and I can ask anything. I usually use this to talk to my whole code base. So there's this like talk to code base thing here. So I might say like, um, I don't know, like, where is my, we're talking about this, um, we want to do this uh, prompt to generate, or uh, prompt, uh, like, image download button. Okay, so I want to add a download button. And actually, what I use is this little um, voice thing. So add a download button to the image that is generated in the model ID page. How do I do it? So, and then I'm just going to have that literally search across my whole code base. And it's going to then tell me, like, a step-by-step -step on how do I do that. Okay, so import necessary things, blah, 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 blah. We're not going to do it this way. Like, sometimes I do it like this. If it's useful, like, search all the code base. But I actually think Composer is the most powerful feature. So what we're going to do is, um, let me just get rid of all this. Okay, great. Um, what we're going to do here is Command I, which is the Composer. And then we are going to open the control panel. And we are going to create a new project. If you're, if you're, let me move this over here. So, yeah, new project. I would name this, like, whatever sort of the big thing is that I'm doing. In my case, I've already set this up. So I set up a generate discover page. This is basically includes all the files you can see here, uh, all the files that are part of that page. So that page, what I'm talking about is, is basically this whole page. So it's uh, it's these prompt starters. It's this generate section. Um, what else is in here? You can, you can kind of see here's the high level page, um, the models that are used, um, the custom prompts, the prompt starters, model overview page, um, et cetera, et cetera. And then actually the migrations in my database. So it has my whole schema. So once basically what you want to do is just give it all of those files and you can just add those files by clicking that plus button. Once you set that up, which I've done, and now I basically can just use it over and over, I'm going to click New Composer, and then right here I'm going to say, okay, I want to add a new um, download button on the images that are generated in the model's ID page. The way that that should work is when a user hovers over the image, there should be a download icon. When they click the icon, it should download the image. Okay. And it already has, you can see right here, it has that uh, project. So I literally just click Enter. And then what Cursor is going to do is basically um, edit. You know, you can see it working here. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay, great. So it actually just added this new thing. Let's see how we can implement this feature. Okay, so then sometimes you got to be like, okay, um, this is a good start, but we need it to be in the at. Like sometimes you actually have to just like 
tell it, uh, let's say models slash ID, which is the page right here, page. Um, probably in the, I think this is in the uh, generate section. Generate. So it's never, it's like not always one shot, but um, you know, you sort of guide it and then it does the, the heavy lifting. Okay, great. So then I'm gonna actually not save that. Okay, so, and you gotta excuse my code here because you know, this was shipped very quickly. Um, so, okay, so it's added a little set state here, download. And what I like to do is just save it in its current form. And this is also, I don't need that. Uh, I just save it in this current form and like, let's just go back and see. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here's my little download button. And okay, so it's like taking me right to the, the thing, um, which I don't want that to happen. Let's go back. So I actually wanted to actually download the image. So what I'll do is say, okay, I want it to actually download the image, not take me to the image URL. And like, let me get rid of these other two. We don't need those. Okay, handle download. Good, so it like added some actual download logic. All right, save that. We're gonna go back. Okay, perfect. Now you can download. <laughs> kind of sick, kind of sick. The image is also awesome. Um, okay, great, so there's my like download. I kind of think, I mean, it's a little subtle right now. And let's see how it looks on mobile. I mean, probably good enough to ship. And then we see what users think. So for sure. Um, okay, so now I want to add a modal. So we're going to accept all changes. So that's solid. Okay, cool. Now I want to add a modal that opens when I click on an image. So in the generate section, .tsx, create a new component that opens the modal with the image selected that is larger and shows the details of the image. All right, and now we see what it cooks up. So, so this is the cool part, right? Like it's actually making a new component and you can see like in my components here, like I have a new image mode component and then it's gonna link that in the generate section. It's like pretty sick. Okay, cool, some types. Okay, so let's see again, it did handle, so set selected image, set the image here. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, image modal, image modal, that looks solid. Let's do this. Save it, save it, come back, refresh. Okay, so you can see it did it, but now this image is white. I actually want this, or this uh, modal is white. I want this to be consistent with the other stuff. So what I'm gonna say is accept all, and then I'm gonna go here and say um, command I, and then it should, um, let's see, let's see here. Okay, great. So like if you do command A and then command I, it'll actually like get that file selected too. So say, um, make sure this is styled in dark mode, according, and like I'll just say according to Tailwind Zeros. And like, let's see what happens. Uh, okay, sure. Okay, this is like, this is not bad. A little bit better. I mean, the design is like not the best, but that is where and like, I want to be able to click out of this. I don't have to click X. So there's like a couple of details. I'll just be like, okay, give it a little more padding. Um, make it so I can dismiss modal without clicking X. Okay, cool. And we're back. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is better ID. I don't think we need to show the ID details but these are sick like also there should definitely be a download button okay uh add a download button a big download button button like in at generate section yeah okay nice I love that. I do not love that. Also, I don't even know that we need this stuff. So I'm just gonna say at this point, accept that. I don't know what's going on in here. Um, images, some stuff. Let me just save this to it. Oh, I think it's styled back stuff too. I really don't know that it needed to do that. Ooh, I actually like this. Wow. Enter a prompt. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, I don't think we need to do that actually. Back, save. 
yeah, it's probably fine. It's probably fine the way it is. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna save this. We're not gonna accept the styling, and then we are gonna make this download button just um, like a normal button. I don't know why we need. We'll, we'll keep the withful though. We'll keep the withful. Okay. So let's see. Cool. And let me get rid of these uh, IDs and stuff. That. Okay. Pretty good download image. Boom. I mean, that's awesome. Let's see if it works on mobile. Sick. All right, that's all we need. Okay, so that's it. That is how I use cursor. Um, so I don't know, it took me 15 minutes to ship these features um, end to end. And um, yeah, it's sort of like I have a founding engineer that I just tell what to do. Um, and it's actually really great for scaffolding, full stack features. I like to use the um, like command L to do that stuff. So yeah, I'll uh, make some more videos like this if uh, this was helpful. But for now, peace, check out Flux, let me know what you think.